Sunrise Daily World Dictionary who joins us now. He's a public affairs analyst, he's also a filmmaker. Thank you for coming on this morning. My pleasure. Well, looking at all of this, he has lots of commentary about what has happened, but beyond that, we need to start uh, introspecting. What should we be doing? What, what will suggestions be? You've, I mean, everyone looks at all of this. Everyone, not happy about what's going on, I reckon. But from your perspective, what do you think? Sincerely, I think we need to stop playing the ostrich and gang up against these who have ganged up against us. This is an attack on our nation. We should stop being partisan and realize that, first of all, Nigeria belongs to us. Our common patrimony is this country. It's not uh, any political party, it's not any tribe, it's not any religion. Nigerians should wake up and realize that our nation is under attack. And if we are under attack, then we should face it squarely. Everybody should get involved. But to the level of the family unit level, we need to know that what, do our, what, what are our children, our siblings, what are they getting themselves involved in and all of this. We must wake up to this reality now, except we don't realize it that what if Nigeria just goes to war? We're all involved. You know, when you say Nigerians should wake up, uh, so many people are doing what they can to see that this becomes history. Take, for instance, in Joss. Remember the landlord that lost his life yes. about uh, yes. he was doing the same thing, trying to stop this from happening. Yes. Today we had a report the other day. His, his wife, his, his kids, they're actually asking for government to come to their aid. So when you say Nigerians should wake up, yes, they do what they can, but there's got to be corresponding action from relevant institutions. Have okay. you seen that happen? Nigerians should wake up here should not be referred to those on the streets. These people that are highly placed, that are making utterances, should wake up and realize that. It will consume them. Just look at yesterday. The bomb blast that happened affected one of the top leaders in Nigeria. So it should stop being seen as just the poor masses dying. Everybody is a victim when, when, this, when this thing happens. And if it continues, we won't be here to even sit down to discuss who to lead and who not to lead. And then from blaming government every time, who is government? We, all of us. Yes, there are people manning positions that we should hold responsible and accountable. I agree with you. But then we should also realize that we are part of governance. We are part of the government of Nigeria. Those people who are victims, of course, efforts are being made by, by federal, at the federal level. We've seen uh, ideas uh, that the federal government is bringing up right now to uh, assist those who are victims and all of that. At the local level, such ideas should be replicated. Yeah, so the, the reason why I mentioned that just matter yes. is because, you know, uh, again, when you say Nigerians should wake up, those out there on the streets, because no matter how uh, the institutions respond, they will need information from out there. Exactly. Now, shouldn't the authorities have been a lot more concerned to ensure that families of such people who give their life for this should never lack? I mean, they should never get to that stage where they are asking, look, we need help. I agree completely. Let me directly say this, right? My elder brother died a military man. He died on, he died on the 1st of October 2013. He was in Yola. So we have been affected directly too. I'm not saying this trying to uh, exempt myself, but honestly, I, I weep for Nigeria because when we sit back and just observe what is happening and what people are, people's reaction to this attack, you just wonder, excuse me, What's going on? What, when did we miss it? And in the process of my thought, I just concluded that Nigeria, uh, maybe we were not a nation all the while, but honestly, this should define our nationhood. This should make us become that conscious, uh, become that conscious about how to move our people, how to move our nation, what Nigeria means to us. The Nigerianness that we needed to activate, I'm very convinced that this, this issue of insecurity would make us activate that. If you, if, before now, when the, uh, the bomb blasts and all of that were happening, even the media seemed to have helped because they were highlighting and celebrating these enemies. This, let's call evil what it is. It is evil. It's, yes. It's, uh, celebration is a rather, you know, it's a strong word. To I'm sorry I used that, but, but when you keep highlighting the negatives, do, do for me, I thought that was rather celebrating because if we, if we don't, you know, bring the human angle to our, our uh, to whatever we are reporting. Then that's celebrating the negative. We, we, that's the evil we, we that I'm talking about. We want to take it from the angle. You talked about, you know, 
your brother haven't died. Yes. I mean, we're, we're talking about lives on a daily basis, on the lives of ordinary Nigerians, civilian population, and also and, the and military, the military yes. you know, security, not just the military, policemen Police, to exactly. have also died here, DSS. You know, security agencies across board have lost personnel in this battle. The question Nigerians ask, I mean, right now, very recently, uh, a committee was set up to see how, you know, uh, a victim's terror support fund could be established to ensure that Nigerians who have suffered the consequences of terrorism, you know, get some... Yes, you said. Exactly. Yeah. The question of who's the Nigerians also ask is, do our military men get that? Do their families get that? Do they feel that there is actually a cause called Nigeria that they can lay their lives down for? As someone who had a military man in his family, did, he f did your family feel that way? Let's take it a little more personal. From a family perspective, first of all, first of all, uh, sincerely, it was a contribution that we have made. When my elder brother decided to, to join the force, his was, I couldn't sit back and observe, you know, at the, at the corner. And he paid dearly for it. He paid, he's lost his life for it. Um, he wasn't in there to go and make money for us. For us, he died a hero. True. Right? No, hold on. For us, he died a hero. Mm -hmm. There is that statement out there about looking for what to do for your nation. I think we don't need to monetize or wait for moments of being coerced to, to be conscious of doing something for Nigeria. Is that what it seems? That's what it seems. We have to be paid for everything that has to do with moving Nigeria forward. I, I, I have to come and cut my own share of the cake. I, I, no, I do not and know. All of that. My so, point is, yes, your brother, you know, who wanted to help, I mean, as we all do, yeah. in our different ways. The question is, he had a family. He, he yes, was responsible he yes. to some people. Yes. He was responsible for their livelihood. Did we as a nation show that appreciation back, that we valued what he had done? My brother was buried as a hero by Nigeria, right? And we may not have gotten whatever is due to him, or we may not have gotten it at the moment, but uh, that process is on. Really, that process is on. But did Nigeria come for? Yes. Did Nigeria come show presence? Yes. We we felt good. The community felt very good that at least one of us has contributed to nation building. We felt really good about it. Listen, I I am not here to, I'm not here to speak for or against anyone. But this is my fatherland. I'm too old, you know, not to have a say in what is happening in this country. Sincerely, and all of us as should wake up to that consciousness. As is all our fatherland. Yes. I mean, I don't know. I, yes, I agree. I, but don't it's not, carry, it's, it's, I don't think anyone else not, here carries a passport apart from a Nigerian passport. Mine is, mine is, mine is, you know. mine is a very special case because I take exception to certain things happening in Nigeria, personally. Mm. Like what? Like these people on the line, these people that we call elites, I think they have taken too much from this country. And they are getting you know, at all negative. Right? If you come back into the country, we don't have it. Their families, you don't have them here. That's why you see some institutions and all of that, our educational system and all of that, not being... Where, where were we coming from before it got this bad? Have we had leaders? Have we had a process? Yes. Can we hold them accountable? We should. And do we have to wait for anybody to give anybody orders to go and do what he or she should do. No, we should begin to, you know, focus on our institutions, really. From statements being made out there by people, whether you were a former leader or not, it shouldn't really call for you to now make utterances that should hit up the politics. The question... And, 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 and the institutions created by law should go to work. 